Lunchtime ride. I think this is the first one of 2021. So last night, before bedtime, post-dinner activities, I spent the evening, bug, adjusting, sinking, slowly and carefully, the throttle bodies. They were off a little bit. I did a real quick one in the spring, but it wasn't quite right. So this is the test ride. So when you sink a throttle body, you're actually adjusting how much air travels through each one at a certain RPM. And what I do is I use those screws on the front of each throttle body, which is what you're supposed to do, to set the throttle. I believe it's 1350 RPM specifically. And of course, my RPM gauge isn't that specific, so I just try to shoot it between the, uh, you know, 1000 and 1500. And then of course you go by ear. The sound of it should be almost like a sewing machine. What you're doing when you turn that screw is you're actually turning the throttle blade. And you want all of them to have the same amount of air traveling through them at the same time, hence sinking. What I try to do is work the idle closest to the lowest RPM I can with the screws turned in as far as possible. Get them perfectly synced, lined up perfectly on the sync machine. All vacuum same. Then I adjust for 4,000 RPM. I've done it the other way where you make the idle perfect, but who cares about idle? I don't drive at idle. I drive a lot around 4,000 RPM. So I slowly and carefully adjust each bleeder screw. Yeah, I call it that. It's not a bleeder screw. Each throttle body. So that even at idle, once I get idle set, I start turning individual ones so that at 4,000 RPM, it's perfectly flat across the top. You want the same exact vacuum pressure on each cylinder, each throttle body, at that specific speed. So at 4,000 RPM, it should be perfectly aligned. And when I drop down to idle, Number one might be higher than number four. One and three, two and four usually are similar. Anyways, it's different probably for every bike. So set your idle, 1350 RPM. Make it perfectly across the board with the sink tool. Everything level, everything perfect, exact vacuum pressure in each cylinder. Then adjust for around 4000 RPM. Right now I have super, super smooth far less vibration. There was a, a deep vibration just before 4,000 RPM and I knew it was off. Now that's gone. There's always a little tiny bit of buzziness. I've never been able to turn this into like a 1975 Cadillac motor, but it's an inline four with no balance shafts on it. So I'm very impressed. It's as smooth as it is. I've never intentionally gone out into the rain. I've usually just canceled rain rides, but it said it was supposed to stop and I so desperately wanted to ride. I'm supposed to stop at one, it's 12.57. It's not coming out very hard. In fact, it's so muggy and warm, it feels good. The gentle pitter patter of rain upon my skin. So for me, mechanical perfection is number one priority. Hang on, Woodstock. Is number one priority. Once that's nailed down, then I start making mods. And then I worry about aesthetics, but usually I skew towards the whole sleeper thing. The aesthetics to me are less important. Excellent performance. That's what I shoot for. Same thing with my cars. Well, well, well. Check out the DB11. So today my kids are shooting off homemade bottle rockets made out of literally bottles. And I'm following my wife and kids to the location. Good thing I'm wearing all black to go and stand outside. It's good thinking. I don't know where we're going. All but moving feels so good. <laughs> ah, it's so hot and muggy. This is it. No doubt. This is it. 
I'm totally gonna hang out here. Hey, rocket men and lady. Could you give me a Diet Coke 20 ouncer? I'd be your friend. I don't have money, but I'm good for it. Come on, give us a wow. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> You're gonna pull? Okay. My fins being. That's why we launched as. as Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that was chaos. <laughs> it went far, though. A lot of force on that thing. Three, two, one, Ava. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I got some serious height. There's just an explosion midair. Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, wow! <laughs> All right, we watched the rockets. I got to get back to work. All right, homeward bound. That was really cool. I have never seen such a thing. The only rocket thing I've ever done is um, like gun power rockets. What am I saying? Gun powder. Yeah, gun powder rockets. Who knew compressed air and water could do such things? That was fun. The kids made their own rockets. They got to test them. Life in Woodstock, Vermont. Right here, people, every day, every minute. Living the dream. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow, Montana plate. That is the coolest car I've seen to date. That's original. That's steel. That's not a fiberglass replica. Wow. <laughs> Only in Woodstock. Hilarious. That's great. Well, that Cobra was top of the line. <laughs> it was really cool to see. Man, vintage is right. All right, I made it through the heat sink of downtown Woodstock. I'm out on the open road and I'm heading home. Thanks for watching. Man, that Cobra was beautiful. I really enjoyed the rocket launching. I always learn something new. Great school here. Kids had fun. God bless you. We'll see you next video.